<laughs> hey guys, in this amazing flip-tastic video, I'm gonna do a okay. Ten, okay, I have 28 skits. Okay, all the skits you can find in the playlist that is called skits. Okay, you can find all of my skits in that playlist. Okay, so. Well, so yeah, I just got a freaking notification. Um, so I was thinking, this isn't the top seven though. It's like a top 28. But then I thought, because I was thinking, should I do them all now? Or should I do like say 10 one day, 10 another day, then I'll do like the other eight a different day. You know what I mean? But I think I know what to do. I'm gonna do seven today, okay? So, um, so 28 <clears throat> to 22, and tomorrow I'm gonna do another seven. Then after that, I'm gonna do another seven, okay? Then I'm gonna do another seven, like, like you know what I mean? Until we get all the way to the bottom. So technically, technically, I'm doing a top seven, but in different parts. So there's multiple top sevens. Kind of. So it's a top 28, but each part is going to have seven. Make sense? Then here we go. Okay? So I'm going to be talking about my top um, 28 technically, but in this video you're going to see only seven skits. Why I'm holding paper towel, I don't even know. I was supposed to put that in a drawer, but I did not. Anyways, um, I'm going to go to my 28. My 28 is close to Emma's birthday. Well... <clears throat> The reason for this is that I absolutely do not like that skit at all. I don't even mean like a little bit really. Like, well maybe yeah, a little bit, okay? Because there's only one scene probably throughout the whole entire skit that I like. I don't know why I don't like the skit, okay? So if you're if you're wanting to see some of my skits, because some of them are good ish, the decent, some of them are meh, some of them are pretty bad. So if you want to know which ones, you should probably watch and you want to be entertained. This is, trust me, this is a good video for you. And maybe you shouldn't watch The Close to Emma's Birthday because, I don't know. To me, not too good. It's very, it's like, it's kind of like, it's terribly pasted, kind of. Like, it kind of, maybe not terribly pasted, it just kind of makes no sense, I think. Like, at all. Like, I don't know, there's a doll, there's a... Candy and stuff. I'm not gonna spoil. Actually, you know, screw. It. I'm gonna spoil things. Okay. So, so if you wanna, um, yeah, uh, I'm not spoil too much. But I just, yeah, um, there's nothing even here to spoil. That's the thing, though. It's just not really like a too much of a good skit. It is a sequel though to Emma's birthday, and um, not the closest birthday because I made a closest birthday, then I made an Emma's birthday, and then the next year I combined the birthdays in under one video, basically. So. This is kind of a sequel to Emma's birthday, which is the other skit I made. So, it's a sequel to that. Um, yeah, so you probably have to watch the other one to to uh, make sense, but just don't just don't don't really watch this one. If you want to, then sure, but I mean, there's only one scene of the whole entire skit, which is the, at the very ending. Spoilers, but um I said spoilers by the way, if you can tell what I just said. Um where I don't know if I can show the scene. If I, if I can show the scene, I can show the scene. But just in case if I can't show the scene, show, show the scene, I'm gonna just gonna explain what happened. Basically, the geese get thrown. The geese gets thrown, which the geese is the villain. Um, gets thrown all the way to the other side of the room and hits the machine that's making all the chocolate. He hits the machine that's making all the chocolate, and then the machine just going beep, 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 because it had like a heart. Um, monitor thing, then it goes beep, and then just like just goes beep for a few seconds. Then you see the geese go, Oh no, because he farts after every word he says. It's comedy gold, isn't it? <laughs> That's yeah, what? Why did I make that? Um, so then the whole machine just explodes. To me, I like that scene, I thought it was decent. I don't know why, but I like the timing of it just going beep. And then just pants to the geese, just going, oh, no, everything blows up. 
that part I think I do like, okay? Maybe you don't. Maybe you thought that was the bad thing. But I don't know. I like that part. Um, the rest of the kid I didn't really like. Let's get on to my number 27. Wait, what the frick? <clears throat> number 27 is actually my most recent skit. Things that sound like something but are different. Yeah, the whole name. The name is terrible. I don't even know if that's the actual name. But it's like something along those lines. It's, it's just... Because I couldn't think. What are you supposed to call it? It's basically the skit is... Is things that sound like something. I say, oh, there's a bee. Oh my gosh, where's the bee? Oh, we had to kill the bee. Where's the bee? Oh my gosh, it's over there. And then you see like the letter B. You know what I mean? Like, what, are you, what am I supposed to do with that? Like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> like... What's the name? But, um, I had some decent ideas with the B. Then I had another one with T. Um, I was like, oh, can you get me some T? And there's just, like, a picture of a T. And then, like, a, a T-shirt, okay? There's one scene where it's like, hey, do you see that? And he's like, what? And like, and it's like, oh, over there. And then he's like, oh, yeah, I see it. And you see a picture of it. And the other guy's like, no, 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 not it. That. And he's like, okay, yeah, I see that. And it's just a picture of the word that. And then... It's, uh, over the word there. It's genius, okay? So, um, that, yeah, that's the whole skit. Um, I don't think it was too good. It was very short. Didn't think it really was, um, that. Eh. So, yeah. Wasn't too good of a skit, in my opinion. And it was the newest one, just... I feel like some of the ideas were just kind of eh, like just made no sense ish. So um yeah. Also the bears in the skit. If you don't know, I have a I have a bear that's in most of my skits. I'll tell you which skits they're in. Okay. So this so the bear was actually in the Close and Numbers birthday one, and in this skit. The bear was in both skits, kind of hidden. Um sometimes they're not hidden. Sometimes he's like literally like right there. So um yeah. Anyways, uh on to my number twenty six. My number 26 is Strange Dreams. <laughs> That's actually, I think, how it went. It was like, Strange Dreams. Okay, yeah. That's kind of cringy. Very cringy, in fact. I think I'm going to jump out that window right now. But, um, Strange Dreams was kind of a weird skit. It made no sense. This this one of the skits. This is one of the skits where I don't like because the pasting is terrible. And this is one of my early skits. So, you could... You can see why it's kind of terrible. But yeah, the pacing just... It's like, it kind of made no sense. Basically, the plot of this skit is that a fairy goes to, um, like, Matthew's... I guess... I guess in this skit, me and Matthew are sleeping over, okay? Because Matthew tries to, um, hit me with a pillow while I'm sleeping, okay? But a fairy comes, and this absolutely makes no sense. Don't know why I did it. A fairy comes... Matthew Bombs like kissed a pillow, and the fairy curses Matthew with strange dreams. And then Matthew just has weird dreams. And actually, the dreams kind of have something to do with early on the skit. That's, I kind of like that type of thing, but eh. Because, like, basically, early on the skit, you see Matthew playing Final Fantasy Fridays and, like, thinking that Nutcracker's talking to him because, you know, <clears throat> he's going crazy by playing that game so much. Um, things like Dean playing Dumb Ways to Die and then saying he has to go number two. Well, then later on, because later on in the dreams, um, there's a dream about talking poop, a dream about Matthew dying in stupid ways, um, a dream about Final Fantasy Freddy's, and a dream about a talking nutcracker, which is, to me, the villain of the skit, even though the fairy technically is, but I feel like he was more memorable than the fairy. Um, it's a nutcracker, and he always says, I'm gonna crack your nuts. Yeah, the video was terrible. That, that, that whole skit was just terrible. Okay, just, yeah. I mean, if you wanted to see it, it's not too, t it's not as terrible as the ones I just named, but it's not that good. I think it's gotten better to me over time, but at first watching, I hated it. So, yeah. On to my number, what am I up to? 25! This video is decently recent. Um, it is called, this video is clickbait, not clickbait. Blech. This video is clickbait, not click. This video is. Uh, this video is not click. Wait, no. This video is clickbait, not clickbait. It's like kind of a tongue twister. I'm trying to say it fast. Um. Yeah, the video wasn't too good. Um. 
it was basically me making fun of clickbait in like a weird type of skit. So yeah, that's basically the skit. Actually, think of it now. I might make a, another skit before I finish this whole series. The four videos of me doing like the top 28 with the sevens. I might make another skit. So that's not going to be included, okay? So if I make another a skit within that time, it's not going to be included in this, okay? But you could just probably think of it as close to the probably this video is clickbait, not clickbait. Unless if, maybe I'll make another one of these in the future, okay? But far future. Far, far future. Like in a thousand years, no. But um, yeah, like when I have a bunch of more skits, maybe I'll make another one of these. Because sometimes skits grow on me a bit. I kind of like the skits more. Because some of these skits that are actually lower down, I didn't like at all. But um, the, this video, clickbait, not clickbait, it's just another shorter skit. It's not too good. Nothing much to talk about. Just me just making fun of clickbait-ish, kind of. And wait, if this video's called This Video is Clickbait, that is not clickbait, does that mean it's clickbait? Oh my god! Number 24, as you just saw, oh, I rhymed, is The Caller. The Caller is a skit that, because I keep on, like, trying to say something, and then I start saying something else. By the way, I talk really fast. I, I feel like no one can understand me. But, um, The Caller is a skit with me and Michael, um, because I was talking to Michael, my cousin, on the phone, okay? And we wanted to make a skit. We were like, oh, we should make a skit next time we see each other. And then we thought, what if we make a skit, like, what if we make the skit freaking now, across the line? Like, what if we do that? And how would we do that? Then we thought, let's do something where, say, I call him with the caller, right? And Michael's in his house. So everything you see is in his house. And I call him, and Michael is um, talking to, to him, to me, on the other side of the phone. It's not like we're in the same room. No, he's actually talking to me on the phone. So we made a skit across, like, in, in, within, like, two different houses. We made a skit. But this skit isn't too good. There's actually many mistakes in the skit. In one scene, Michael drops his phone. In another scene, well, actually, it's like most of the scenes, because sometimes you can't understand me because it's across the phone. So he put text up. And he always forgets to get rid of the other text. Because we edit on iMovie. And when you go into the text, it has like three text things. And you're supposed to get rid of one text thing. Because it's like, oh, text here. Right? Like, put text here. You get rid of it. You get rid of the other one. And then you put it wherever you want it to be. Okay? He forgets to get rid of the other things. So when you see the video, it says, put text here. It's like, why? <laughs> Um, and then also early on, you hear like the video is doubled. It's like whenever someone talks, you hear it again. It's very strange. Okay. Um, and the video kind of made no sense also. Um, with it being like some, me calling him, telling him to do things. It's like, what's the purpose of it? There was no really reason. I guess it was like a prank type thing. But, um, yeah, video to me ain't the greatest, but, um, it's not that terrible. Just a meh. It's like... Meh. Anyways, on to our number... 23! By the way, the reason why I keep looking... Oh, wait, did, did I just catch that? By the way, the reason why I keep looking down is um because I have a list here of everything from 28 to, to number 1. Um, So next, which is 23. Um, if people in horror movies were smart. Um, so, this skit... It's not that I hate the skit, I just don't think it's as good as the other skits. Okay? Like, I don't think it was actually as good as the other skits coming down. But, um, basically the skit is me making fun of people in horror movies. Because, like, oh, just freaking call the police. Like, there's a phone there. Call the freaking police. Like, why? Oh, say when you freaking run past the front door. Run out! Or when you go, like, up on another floor. It's like, freaking, why do you do that? You just cornered yourself. Or hide in, like, a better spot than, like, the most cliche spots ever. So basically, it's me making fun of that. And mo most people have actually already done that before, which is why it's kind of also lower down. I mean, by lower down, I mean, like, you know, on the worst scale. Um, because a lot of people already done it before. So, yeah. And um, it was kind of weird, because... 
the pacing is a little weird. Well, I guess because it's multiple different like stories ish. Because like in one scene you're seeing like one stupid thing to do in a horror movie, then another scene you're seeing another stupid thing to do in a horror movie. Um, but it's kind of weird. Like I should have done like a little like 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 a beep type thing in, in between each clip. Because sometimes people may think that like it's part of the same video. So yeah, but um yeah, it's not it's not really that. I, I mean, I kind of liked it. To me, I like the skit decently, but to other people and to the other skits, not really. Like 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 I don't think the skit is better than the other skits. Not saying it's bad, but I don't think it's as good as the other skits. Let's get on to our. I can't forget the number. Twenty-two. Oh wait, this is the final one. Wait, yeah. Mhm. Mm final um one. Twenty-two. Okay. Let's go on to twenty-two, and then I'll end the video, and then you can come back tomorrow, hopefully, and then you'll see the rest of the list. Well, another part of the list, another quarter of the of the list. Okay. On to our number twenty-two. Emma's birthday. I already had close to Emma's birthday, which was um. The, you know, then combined, which was a sequel to Emma's birthday. Now we have Emma's birthday. Um, I'm surprised I'm putting this before Clarissa's birthday. Okay, because Clarissa's birthday, I normally, I used to think Clarissa's birthday wasn't as good as Emma's birthday. I thought Emma's birthday was a little bit better, because it has a better villain, I guess you could say. Because most of my early skits had villains, okay? Well, actually, no. My early skits didn't have villains. Later on, like, it was like three different freaking series, okay? What about four? It's like four different times in my skits. My chair is so freaking creaky. Early on, there were skits with not really like a villain, okay? Maybe a villain there, but like not really like a big main villain, really, okay? Then in the middle of it, there was things like the Zoo Cafe, everything like that, which has like villains and they kill off on the shelf and everything like that, okay? But after that, I started making skits like after a long break. I started making skits again, which is like the monster hunt and things like that, okay? Then after that, I started making skits that don't have a villain. Um, so basically, it was not not really any villains. Villains, then even more villains, but like a different type of like feeling to it. Not as, I guess, cringy, even though it's still kind of cringy. And then I started making the skits as kind of like no villains, like the um, horror movies things, stuff like that. So, um, yeah. But this skit... The villain, even though I, I thought that, like, the villain was better, I don't think the skit had good pasting at all. I feel like it might have been too short. It was kind of just, like, all over the place. It starts off with me and Dean playing the Xbox. Then out of nowhere, we're freaking, like, in... Well, not out of, oh, out of nowhere. Like, we hear a noise. We go into the toy room. Then, like, there's dolls. Then it's freaking, like, oh, we have... Like, the dolls tell each other, we have visitors. Ollie comes by. Which is, um, like a, a doll. Ollie says, like, oh, I see, I have come to see my visitors. Which, by the way, I made a joke to that in the Close to Emma's birthday. Which is the Close to Emma's birthday, like the combined. I said, um, I have come to see my prisoners. So, um, yeah. But, um, in this video, she, like, comes. Then, uh, Zand uh Xander and Dean walk, walk out the door. And then, like, we punch her. And then she comes back. And then we run downstairs. And then we see Hex, and then we, like, kill Hex, because she, she basically does nothing. She doesn't, do, she doesn't do anything to fight back. She's just there. Then we kill her, and all the dolls die, and then it's just the end. Made no sense. Okay? I, I, I was thinking, like, should I put this before or after people who are movies are smart? So I think this is kind of in the same scale as it. So, um, yeah. Uh, I think that's actually it for this video. That was all, um, seven. Um, next video, you'll see the next seven, and after that, the next seven, and so on and so on, until we're done. So, that was it for this video. You know my top seven. Let's just do a little recap. 28 is Close to Numbers Birthday. 27 is Things That Sound Like Something But Are Different. Number 26 is Strange Dreams. Number 25 is This Video is Clickbait, Not Clickbait. Number 24 is The Caller. Number 23 is If People in Horror Movies Are Smart. The number 22 is Emma's Birthday. That was everything so far anyway guys that was it for this video hope you enjoyed the video um go and make sure to check out all these skits all the skits you can find in the skits playlist that i have um anyway guys goodbye